So, I'm showing you these things because, see, thank God, they're in the Bible. I'm glad about this. First Corinthians 15 chapter. Hallelujah to Jesus. Praise God forevermore. I'm reading from the 13th verse. Hmm, what an argument. This is beautiful. Beautiful argument. Do you like it? Somebody says, no, I don't argue when it comes to the Bible. I don't argue. Hey, learn how to argue. I'm telling you, because Paul knew how to argue the Bible. He argued the scriptures. Now, arguing, constructive argument. Let the other guy speak. Don't turn it into anger. Let him speak. People argue in the court. They don't have to fight. Just let him say everything he has to say. When he's done, you'll speak. And by the time you're through, he wouldn't know what to say. Learn to argue. Get your points. That's why you have to have this thing. Get your point. Hey, if it comes to arguing this thing, I'm ready for you. <laughs> ah, hallelujah. I'll let you talk. Go on. Come on. I'm ready. This is my meat. Now sit down for you. The Bible says that Paul argued. He argued even in the marketplaces. <laughs> That's okay. No, no, let's not, talk. let's not talk again. No, no, no. It's turning into an argument. I didn't want to argue. I just wanted to tell you. Huh? You expected the devil to keep quiet? The devil was there all the time while he was talking. Now, he will never keep quiet and just let you go. He would like to confuse the other guy. No, get ready for him. Ah, ah, ah. He wants us to just chill out and say, okay, 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 ah, okay, okay, no, okay. No, no argument. Ah, no, I, I, it's not an argument. Ah, <laughs> not me. I'm set. Set, very set. If you like, get angry. I'm set. But I'll keep arguing with a smile. No, 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 listen to me. Listen, listen, listen. No, that would work. You'll fight. See? No, just let him talk. Give him a smile. Use that smiling at him. You know that kind of smile. That smile means, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just let him talk. Praise God. Sure. Now, look at this. From verse 13, 12 will be all right. You know, some people said that there's no resurrection of the dead, that the resurrection, you know, they said a lot of stuff. So, here, he argues about the resurrection. He presents his case. Here is Paul's submission. And I like it. Look at from verse 12, 1 Corinthians 15 chapter. Now, if Christ be preached, no wonder they said he was a lawyer. <laughs> lawyer for Jesus. Would you like to go to a lawyer and say, I have this problem. And then uh, when you explain to him, he says, ah, you are wrong. Go. Let me just tell you, you are wrong. You like that kind of a lawyer? I said, what is the matter with you? Why did I come to you? I said, ah, you are wrong. You are wrong. That's not a lawyer. He may be a good counselor, but not counsel for the defense. Tell him you are the wrong man. I need a lawyer that says we're going to find a way out. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me, ah, you are wrong. In fact, we have to start praying right now. <laughs> I said something's wrong with you. You're not a lawyer. You went to school to get a wig. Now, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? If there be no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain. Aren't you surprised? Those who said there was no resurrection of the dead were church people, church folks who believed in Jesus. They're the ones he's talking to. So verse 13, it says, but if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain. And your faith is also vain. Uh Yeah, 
I like Paul. Did you see him say, yeah? Look at it there. Paul said, yeah. Everybody say, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Hallelujah. And we have found false weaknesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. Then they also which have fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. (laughs) Isn't that true? But now, hallelujah, is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 